And hello everyone, it's time for another flashlight review, and today I have one of the latest from Nightcore. This is their combination EDC keyring flashlights, and this is the Nightcore TUP, or T-U-P. So, um, it's a very nice compact little light, which uh, has some very nifty features, which I'll be explaining here as we move along. And um, as you can probably notice from the box, it is a 1000 lumen light on its top output. It is actually the exact same size as is the picture on the box. And as they say here, it's a revolutionary intelligent pocket light. So as we turn it around on the back, you can see some basic information here regarding its impact resistance, its maximum beam distance, um, its uh, rating for moisture and so forth. And it also uses a Cree XPL HD V6 LED and has a multifunctional OLED display, which is perhaps its uh, best feature of all. The battery is built in, 1200 mAh lithium rechargeable battery, and as it says here, it has dual side switches, um, which is kind of ambiguous because the switches are actually on the front, and one of, them, one of them is the power switch, and the other one is the mode switch, and it also has five brightness levels. So let's get to all this as we move along swiftly. First of all, inside the box, of which the contents I have removed, are right here. This is the instruction manual. Here is pretty much the only accessory it gives you, which is the attachment to a key ring. Uh, here is a warranty card. And here is the star of the show, the Nightcore Top. Very small, as you can see and uh, has a little bit of thickness to it. Personally, I think this would be a bit big for a key ring, but that's just me. Uh, here is a pocket clip, very sturdy. I have used it that way, and that's, well, that's the way I will use it. You can remove the pocket clip by um, un uh, untightening or unloosening the screws back here, so that'll come off if you want to use it on the key ring. Here's the LED right here. It's uh, rather shallow in there, which gives you a nice... Um, a nice wide beam as it were not not terribly focused and uh, I think for what it is uh, that's the, the the perfect way to have done this so um, and here's the little uh, hole or the little shape on the bottom it's not a hole obviously it's the attachment to attach the key to attach the key ring to uh, personally I wish they'd kind of uh, I, I wish they'd made this sort of like sort of removable or made it be screw on in some way or fashion so that it could tail stand and uh, but anyway again that's me I like lights that tail stand so anyway um, let's um, look at the uh, manual here just for a second so I can tell you about the outputs and the outputs are actually displayed on the little screen every time you turn it on but um, um, it actually has direct access to the highest mode it has direct access to ultra low and to turbo and it also has two methods of locking it out uh, to prevent accidental activation it has a half lockout and a whole lockout and it has advanced temperature regulation and so forth now as far as the charging aspect of it is you attach a standard USB not a USB-C but a standard connector to the side here uh, just pull back the flap and plug that in. When you do so, you'll get these two buttons illuminating in blue, and they'll be flashing. And it'll also say in the display that it's charging. And then when the charge is finished, those will go solid blue, and it'll say it's charged in the display. So very nice indeed. They have put um, quite a bit of uh, thought into this into this light, I must say. Um, oh yes, here are the... Um, here are the lumens and the uh, run times on the side of the manual. Uh, 1, 15, 65, 200, and 1,000. And uh, there are your beam distances and basic run times. And uh, again, all that is uh, shown on the display when you turn the light on. So when you do so, it uh, flashes right away and tells you which level you're on and also shows you what lumens you're on, but you have to look quickly because it disappears. But if I press... The mode switch at any time while it's on it'll do the same thing again and flash them in the same fashion this number here is counting down or what it actually is telling you is that the light will stay on for that length of time on this particular mode so it's saying hey you should be getting an hour and 44 minutes out of this mode as is now how accurate this is I'm not sure because I haven't timed it or 
left it on to look to see, you know, how accurate that actually is. It may be just, um, it may be just for show, but um, I think there must be some level of accuracy to it. And uh, again, when you press it like that, it'll, it'll, it'll show you uh, that you have uh, 200 lumens coming out of this particular level. This is, by the way, um, level 4. For it to be 200, this is actually high. Now, um, the modes are changed, of course, by pressing the mode switch. Um, in that particular case, I went down to level 1, and that is um, ultra low. And again, if I press the button, it'll show one there for a second, and then the fact that I have 39 minutes and 40 seconds on this level. Um, so actually, actually, no, that's um, that would actually be 39 hours um, in actuality. But um, let me do this. If I turn the light off, and off and on is just as simple as pressing the power switch, once for on, once for off, and of course it has mode memory, but I can check the battery level at any time by pressing the power switch while it's off. And then that'll show me instantly where the battery is, 3.83 volts. So this battery, the battery rather, is starting to get a little bit low, but um, still has all its functions, of course. Now, the reason it says daily up there is because it has two different operating modes. It has a demo mode, D-E-M-O, and a daily mode. And on the demo mode, um, it does everything that it's doing right here, but when it's on, it starts counting down. And it has a timer down here showing 30 seconds. So in the demo mode, you cannot operate the light for more than 30 seconds at a time. And after 30 seconds, it just shuts off completely. So, um, so with each mode change, as you can see, you just, you just press, the, press the button like this, and it will show you right away how many lumens are on that mode and approximately how much time is left to operate the light on that mode. Now if I want turbo I have to press and hold the mode switch and I can do that from anywhere. I can do that from any mode it happens to be on or from the off position of course. Now pressing and so, so there pressing and holding takes me to turbo. It says it's got 14 minutes to run on it right now and it showed me right away that it was a thousand lumens. So there you go. And turbo mode is uh, pretty darn bright and of course certainly bright for a little light of this size. So let me turn off this light. There is a lot of things to talk about on this light and I'm trying to be swift about it because uh, I don't want to take too long in explaining it, but you can see everything in detail on my website at lightsandgear.com if any of this seems confusing. Uh, so right now we are in uh, we are in ultra low and we only have one lumen coming out. It takes quite a long time for this to focus on that each time. But here's the beam which is very nice and very uniform. Doesn't have, it doesn't even really have any spill to it. It's just a nice center spot of light. So if I press it I'll get up to the low mode. So right now we're on low. And then as I press it again, I'm on uh, medium. This is level 3. And then press it again, I'm on high. And this is level 4. And as you can see, that's a very nice beam, very bright. And if I press and hold, then I'm on turbo. So here's turbo mode, just as bright as a lot of other lights that, are, that use 18650 batteries. So pretty bright for a light of this size as they would say and again the beam is very very nice indeed so if I just release it from turbo it'll go back to the level it was on before I press the button if I go right if I go right back down to ultra low I can still do the same thing by pressing and holding and going up to turbo and then releasing it and going back to ultra low again so uh, those are your basic modes on it and um, the button is, is, a, is a pleasure to use as well. Actually, while we're showing the beam pattern, why don't we take a trip outside and just show you the uh, beam as it looks outdoors. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed those shots. If you want to see more of those, check out my written review at lightsandgear.com where there are a couple more outdoor shots. Um, now, a couple of the other features here on the light 
include the lockout, and I'll try to do this as simply as I can because it does take a little bit of explaining. It, it locks out halfway and then and then and then completely, and it'll lock out it'll it'll lock out halfway so that the power button is not accessible but the mode switch is in order to operate turbo. So in, in a half lock you can operate turbo. In a full lock you can't operate anything. And to go into the lock feature I have to press this button twice but the first time I do it is quick and the second time is a holding press. So it goes one, two, like that. And then it shows a lock and the display and disappears. But now each time I go to turn it on, it won't really turn on. It'll just show me that lock with a number one in the display. But what it will do now is operate turbo. So I can still press the mode switch and go to turbo. And then as soon as I release it, it'll turn off. Now one thing I just realized I didn't explain the first time around is in turbo mode, you can only get the mode by holding the button at any time. Anytime you want turbo, no matter when you want to use it, it'll only work as long as you're holding the switch. So turbo is only, turbo is sort of almost, think of it as a tactical turbo. It's almost, I mean, basically it is tactical. So the only time it's going to operate is when your finger is holding the button. So that's one thing to, that's one thing to know. All the other uh, modes, you can leave it on, you know, do what you want to do, set it down, whatever, it'll stay on. But turbo, it will not do that. So anyway, right now we're in the first lockout. Now, in order to go to the second lockout, I have to unlock it from where we are. So two presses, like that, and it unlocks and returns to the last mode we were on. Now, if I want to lock it out completely, I do that, those two presses again. One, two. Oh, that didn't work. Wait a second. One, two. There we go, one, two, and then a two shows up. As long as I keep holding the button, it'll change the number two. If I release the button on one, it'll stay in one. If I hold the button through one, it'll change to two. So right now, if I wanted to turn it on, all it would do is show me that it was in the full lockout. And if I went to press the mode switch, it'll do the same thing there. It will not produce turbo because it only produces turbo in the first lock, not the second lock. So now if it's in your pocket and whatever and it turns on it won't or if it tries to turn on it won't do anything but um but 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 show that uh padlock in the display and that's all it'll do. So to unlock it I do the same thing again one two it shows that little bar graph and then it returns to where it was the last time before I locked it. Pretty cool, huh? So um so did I show you the yeah I showed you the battery part yeah um, I showed you the part where it, where where if it's off I just press the mode switch and then it shows you the uh, condition of the battery and um, and I think I did already tell you about the illuminated display too of when it's charging this is all blue flashing and then it turns a solid blue to know that it's uh, finished charging but all that is in the display but anyway this is a very very cool little flashlight and. Um, very very nice. Um, there is a link below if you want to pick one up. It was furnished by my by my friends at uh, Banggood, so there is a link below if you want to pick one up. And of course, the other link is below if you want to visit my full written review at LightsandGear.com and read all about those lockouts and and uh, firm push you know holding presses and all that stuff. You can read about that at my written review, and there'll also be the same link there to pick one up, and probably a coupon as well. There might even be one below if you want to save a few bucks when you pick one up at Banggood. So anyway, I will wrap this up by saying that is the review of the Nightcore Top. If you do have any questions or comments, of course, let me know below, and we'll be glad to discuss it further. And um, you can also visit lightsandgear.com for more flashlights, batteries, and chargers, of course. But uh, for now, that is the Nightcore TUP, a very, very innovative and very cool combination EDC and uh, keychain flashlight. Thanks for watching today. Hope you've enjoyed yourself, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.